Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to parts of Amber Lynn's vlog. So I figured for the new year we will start weekly weigh-ins again. I will be filming my weigh-ins every Sunday. Well, I will be weighing in every Sunday. Um, today is definitely not a Sunday. Sunday was on the 1st and today's the 4th. So I am behind on filming, but I do want to get this first weigh-in out so you guys know my starting weight for the new year. Regardless of when you guys see the video, I will be filming a weekly weigh-in is what I'm trying to say. And with the weekly weigh-in, I wanna talk about, you know, how much weight I lost within the week or gained or if I stayed the same or how I'm doing. I also wanna include a correspondence with me and you guys. And by doing that, I've decided I'm gonna go on Instagram before I film these videos and I am going to ask you guys to ask me or I'm gonna suggest to you guys, or give you guys the opportunity to ask me weight related questions. I did do this last year and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know why I stopped, but I do enjoy making these types of videos. Starting off with the same old Amber Lynn, weekly weigh-ins have been her goal for as long as she has been on YouTube. It never lasts because she doesn't want to show her weight when she gains because of the hate or disappointment she gets. She does not enjoy people's opinions on her diet and weight, that's why she stopped. Question is, why won't you show us your lip edema or lymphedema? I will not show that because it is something I'm very self-conscious about and I know the type of people who watch me. Like, me just showing my face, I get called a moon, a sun, you know, people make fun of how I look, they make fun of my hair. And those are just like the simplistic things. Then people start making fun of my arms and my stomach, my abdomen, then we get into my legs and that is where majority of my lipedema is. I do have it in my stomach and just the tiniest bit of my arms, but I do have it in those spots and it's like, why would I wanna put myself through that when I can barely even like go to the doctor and show them? Why would I wanna show thousands of people online who already actively make fun of my body and how I look. I'm not gonna put myself in that position. I for one do not think she should show her body if she is not comfortable and I think it's a little strange to ask her to show her body on the internet. We can see her lip edema through her clothes sometimes. I would never ask her to get so vulnerable on the internet. She knows she can't handle it and I'm glad she doesn't even want to try. Last question. If Ozempic causes gallstones, wouldn't weight loss surgery do the same? So I had gallstones. I was first diagnosed uh, like 21 after rapidly losing 60 pounds. And I've had gallstone problems since then. It's been very like on and off, on and off. But I didn't have really that many gallstone issues for a few years. And then I got on Ozempic and I was losing weight. I was losing weight before Ozempic, obviously. I was down like 106 pounds in total, which made my gallstones start acting up again. And I was told to stop taking the Ozempic because it was causing the rapid weight loss, which is like a mess because it's like, what do I choose? Do I choose gallstone pain or do I choose like, you gotta be healthy because you gotta lose weight? Like it's so confusing, like what? do I choose, what bad do I choose, what good do I choose? Because either way, it's like, what's happening? But with weight loss surgery, if you have gallstone problems or your gallbladder isn't healthy or whatever it may be, they actually take out your gallbladder for you during weight loss surgery, it is an option. So that is probably what would happen. Um, pretty much 100% sure that they would just take out my gallbladder during weight loss surgery. And I know a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just get your gallbladder taken out right now? They will not do that. I've spoken to a few health professionals. I even have uh, talked to a surgeon about it. They will not take it out unless it's actively infected and it's because of my weight. They just don't wanna put me under a intensive, surgery and have me on anesthesia if there's really no reason for it obviously like i have gallstones it's not healthy but my gallbladder is functioning and that's what's important and they said that if it ever like stops functioning or if it's like running low on function then obviously it would be an emergency surgery but they just don't see that in my cards right now all right so now that the five questions are over which is that's how much i want to do um per video by the way is five questions i used to only do three but you know what i like to talk now i get that you had a choice to make but right now you are not doing anything you are not on ozempic you have gained weight 
and your gallstones still hurt, I would think that weight loss would be the choice then, if you are going to be in pain either way. Okay, so my weigh-in on January 1st, which was Sunday, is 520.0 on the dot, which I'm very glad about because last time you guys um, got a weigh-in for me, I was actually like 521 point something. So I have not gained weight since then, so I am fucking glad about that. Let me tell you, I am so glad about that. So this year, I am doing things a little bit differently. I'm not going into it like, oh, January 1st, I'm gonna count calories. I'm only gonna have 1,200 calories. I'm just gonna have fruit all day. Like, we're not doing that. This isn't the broccoli, chicken, fruit diet. Not happening. That's why I binge. That's why I fail. I am focusing on reality and that's how I'm going into it this year. So I do have a goal. I would like to weigh 399.8 before 2024. So that means I have to lose 120.2 pounds this year. It's doable because it's only two point something pounds a week. I can do that. I know I can do that. So how am I gonna do that? Every month is gonna be different because just this January, I'm focusing on no take no takeout. I am I haven't had takeout. I know today's only day four, but coming from someone who orders takeout like multiple times a day, like once or twice, even three times a day, it is new, but I'm doing good. We are on day four. So this whole January, I do not want to do takeout. I'm allowing myself to eat whatever I want within my home. Yesterday, Feline made lasagna. We loved it, we enjoyed it, we thrived. Um, I'm allowing myself to eat normal foods in normal quantities like a normal person and I use quotations lightly because I don't even know what normal means but I know that what I'm doing is not normal and that's binging and ordering takeout daily multiple times a day so by not doing that anymore I'm starting to come back to the normal side but what is normal I don't even know at this point but yeah, that is really strongly what I'm focusing on in January is just like no takeout and allowing myself to eat things at home. But come February, I'm going to find new goals. Every day and every week, every month is just gonna be a step closer to a healthier, newer, improved me. New year, new Amber Lynn. Oh my God, it's such a joke. <laughs> I'm just trying to take things slower instead of going so quickly into like new diets and counting calories. It's just, it's not realistic for me. We have all seen this play out before and it's just, it's not gonna work. So today is Wednesday. I have not weighed myself since Sunday. You guys know that I am like less weigh in every single day type of queen, but I've decided I am not going to be doing daily weigh-ins, not even in my personal life, which is so weird because I noticed it just messes with my mind frame. And if all I have to lose is like two point something pounds a week, that is all I'm gonna be focusing on. And if I lose more than that, that's amazing. I love that for me. Amber Lynn always starts with realistic goals at the start of the year, but when she doesn't lose the two pounds a week in the first month it rolls over to the next, and then with gaining weight her goals get even further away from her. This idea of eating whatever she wants at home and no takeout is a good one, but I don't know if she will lose weight that way. It might be good to reset and stop ordering so much takeout and even good for her binging. But I'm not sure why she expects to just lose weight by doing this, she should pick one or the other to focus on in January and then focus on weight loss in February if she really wants to do intuitive eating first. Funny how she always agrees with her audience that says that she should not weigh in daily until she can't fight the urge anymore and then it's just her way of doing things again. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.